Hey, Shawnee here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to connect your Samsung Galaxy Watch Active 2 to the Samsung Health Monitor app to record ECGs. So I had to do a little research. I don't know what ECG stands for. Some of you might not know either. So an ECG, it is a test that measures the electrical activity of your heart. So once you open Samsung Health Monitor app, click continue, allow permissions, fill in your date of birth, your name and your gender. You must be 22 to use this app, but I'm not 22, so I'm just gonna put a different year for my birthday. Introducing Samsung Health Monitor. View more. How the ECG app works. These are results, sinus rhythm, atrial fibrillation. I cannot say that word for the life of me. Inconclusive, poor recording. You should know ECG app never looks for signs of a heart attack. Do not use ECG app if you experience shortness of breath, chest, pain or pressure, fainting, what you think might be a heart attack. I'd like to pause to read, go ahead. For me, I wear mine on the left wrist. So for this to work, you're going to want to make sure the Samsung Health Monitor app is downloaded on your phone. So swipe over to your app drawer, scroll all the way over until you see this Samsung Health Monitor. Once you have downloaded it. Now for me, make sure the watch is snug on your left wrist. So you don't want to have this loose and all flying around and stuff. Now when you're ready, click OK. Now it'll bring up this little screen right here that says ECG with the heart. Rest your finger lightly on the top button. App never looks for heart attack. Now this will take 30 seconds. Sinus rhythm. This ECG does not show signs of atrial fibrillation. Now. This is not going to be the same for everyone, and that's okay. Feeling unwell? Add your symptoms. View this ECG in the Samsung Health Monitor app on your phone. Done. Once you're done that, it will relay the information to your phone, actually automatically. Galaxy wearable app. Scroll down to SOS. So click on detect falls. Make an SOS call and send SOS messages to your emergency contacts when your watch detects a hard fall and you haven't responded for 60 seconds. Keep an eye on your watch during high impact activity like sports, since this can sometimes register as a fall. After a fall, your watch will alert you for 60 seconds with a pop-up sound and vibration. You can cancel the alert or swipe to send SOSs right away. If you don't respond for 60 seconds, SOS messages will be sent to the emergency contacts you set in your Galaxy wearable. You can also set your watch to make an automatic call to your selected emergency contact to let them know your location. That is it for today's video. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below and I will see you in the next one. Peace.